Football is a team sport, and one of the best teams in Utah history is Ron and Vicki McBride. Their paths first crossed at San Jose State University. I love football because I like the contact, I like the, the, the team concept, I liked, I liked everything about it. And so then I had an opportunity to go to uh, San Jose State on a football scholarship. I was walking down the street at San Jose State and he was riding his bike with this little boy on the handlebars. And I thought to myself, he must be a nice guy because he obviously likes kids. A career in coaching started right after college in California, going from high school to junior college to Long Beach State. It was there he had an interesting visitor. And so we're at Long Beach and Long Beach is pretty, you know, everybody, you wore shorts to work and, you know, you're just you're kind of beach guys, you know. And, and so the secretary came up to me. She said, hey, there's a dude here from, from, from Utah someplace. And I said, what's he, what's he want? He says, well, he's, he's all dressed up in a blue suit. He got a tie. I said, you gotta be kidding. We're pretty sure it wasn't a church missionary, but soon began Ron and Vicky's relationship with the University of Utah, with three separate stints as coach, twice as an assistant, and once as head coach, 18 years in total. It didn't take long for Ron to turn the Utah program into a winner. Then I had, I had a actually a legitimate opportunity to get the head job here. And I already knew all the weaknesses of the program here, knew what had to be done, knew how to recruit to, to, uh, to Utah, knew how to get players, knew how to establish a locker room. In 1992, Ron guided the Utes to their first bowl game in 28 years. It followed with six other bowl appearances. Not bad for a team who had only been to three bowl games in 97 years. While he was taking care of business on the field, Vicky was taking care of the hearts and homes of the players and their families. I'm probably in touch with three or 400 players. They keep in touch with us and I love knowing what they're doing. I love knowing about their parents because I wanna know what's happening with them. Touchdowns and winning were important to the McBrides, but touching hearts and serving others were both deeply embedded in their souls. My parents taught me early on that taking care of each other is, is what you do. And so they, they, just, they just taught me that, that when you, the, you, you need to care about what's going on. And I always thought to myself, man, if I could ever make a difference to these kids in programs that maybe I can help establish. And so then, when I retired at Weber, I got together with Lavelle and we talked about, okay, we're, we're gonna do some things to help these kids. The Ron McBride Foundation provides funding for after-school programs for at-risk Title I schools all over Utah. The McBrides made coaching stops at nine other schools and three professional teams. But as the saying goes, Utah was the place. All of my kids graduated from the U, I did too. He's the one who wishes he had. <laughs> he has had an affinity for this place from the day he stepped here. I mean, what can I say? I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I love this, I love this state. I love the people in the state. And I love what they've given me as a person and what they've given my family. The feeling is mutual. The University of Utah is grateful for all the McBrides have done and have given back to our community. Including two consecutive years in the early 90s that ended with these magical numbers. Deja vu all over again, folks, 34 to 31.